All right, guys, in the last video, we had a look at pure components. Pure components only re-render the class components when there is a difference in the shallow comparison of props and state. This, of course, results in a performance improvement. Pure components, though, only work with class-based components. It would be nice if we could achieve the same in functional components as well. And that is where react.memo comes into picture. What pure components is to class-based components, memo is to functional components. Let's take a look at an example. I'm going to create a new file called memocomponent.js. Within the file, I'm going to use the snippet rfce to create a functional component. Within the function parentheses, I'm going to destructure the name prop. And then in the JSX, let's render that name property. I will also add a console log statement which says rendering memo component. Back in parent component, which we created in the previous video, I will comment out the regular component and the pure component and instead include the memo component. If you remember, we have a set interval in component did mount, which basically calls set state every two seconds, resulting in a re render of the parent component. We, of course, extend it from component class. Now, since the name prop is not really changing every two seconds, we can gain performance improvement by not re-rendering the memo component. Name is equal to this.state.name. So when the parent re-renders, memo component also re-renders, but the name prop is going to stay the same with every re-render. So we need a way to avoid re-rendering this memo functional component. And we can do that using react.memo. In memo component, all you have to do is export default react.memo and then pass in the memo component as its argument. Now, before we take a look at the browser, I have to mention one thing. React.memo was introduced in version 16.6. .6. So in your package JSON, make sure React and React DOM are at least 16.6 .6 or above. Otherwise, when you head back to the browser, you're going to see an error which says React.memo is not a function. So please do make sure you're using 16.6 .6 and above if you want to use the memo feature. So now if you go back to the browser, click on refresh, you can see that we have the render statements from the initial render, parent component and rendering memo component. But after that, for the two second intervals, only the parent is re-rendered and the memo component is not re-rendered. The props are not changing and hence it's better to avoid re-rendering the memo component. Now what you see here is something called a higher order component. React.memo accepts a component, adds some things to that component and returns a new enhanced component. In our case, a component capable of avoiding re-renders when there is no changes in props. We will talk about higher order components in detail a few videos down the line but this is how you use react.memo. Similar to pure components, but it works with functional components instead. All right, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.